Now, once you, once you know who you choose to become and who you choose to be in your life, thank you. You know, once you decide that you want to make a change, all it takes is some, for somebody else to share with you and mentor you into that change. You know how I know that's true? How many of you guys ever sat up? And now, be honest, don't, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about, because I, I didn't get it over, over, and over, my, my partner tell you. Late nights on these infomercials. How many people are looking at an infomercial late night and order something off the infomercial? <laughs> I know, girl! I gave me something, I knew that! I saw it in your face! Because <laughs> I did it too! <laughs> I spent a phone with Smith for about 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, yo, bro, I gotta get up the phone. I got like three seconds left to order this before, they, before the commercial go off. Now, I know they're gonna show it on the next channel, but I, can't, I gotta get it right now. <laughs> because right then, I stayed up all night saying to myself, I gotta do something different. I wanna do something better. I know I'm better than this. I gotta do something. And then when I ordered a kit, how many guys ordered a kit when you was like, yeah, we're playing like, like a Christmas present. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 you, know you, you slide it under the bed. <laughs> you slide it under the bed, and what you do is you decide that the next time you're in some type of crisis, it's time to go back under the bed. You wanna pull it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really get it this time. You open it up and it's the same information. Right? So the reason why I say that, guys, is this. A lot of times when you get that stuff off of infomercials, what is, what is lacking is mentorship. I know, because every time I order something and I read it, keeping in mind that all the things that we're talking about right now is in the library, is on the internet, how to start businesses all around us. The opportunity to start a business is everywhere. But once you get the business, if you don't know how to run the business, then how are you going to have success? See, there's three types of people, guys. There's dabblers. <laughs> yeah, people that's like a dabble all the time. I'm going to try this company. I'm going to try that company. Yeah. And sometimes when I talk to them, they're proud to tell me, mm -hmm. I did all these companies. I do everything. Everything that comes out, I do it. That's like telling somebody at a job on your resume that the reason why you're working every, like, you know, you get fired from job, other job. You, see, some people think that's experience. Mm -hmm. They have four pages of resume showing that you only kept a job a month or two months. That's not experience, that's inconsistency. Right. And I don't want you working for me if you're inconsistent. Right. Mm. So dabblers in business, they do the same thing. They dabble, they'll try this company. Try right. How many people know people like that? Right. Every time they turn around, they, they tell you they're calling you about the newest and the hottest and greatest thing. <laughs> and they haven't even stuck around long enough to have no success. Then you have the people who are stressors. Stressors, they can actually get involved in any opportunity and they can make it work. But it's going to take them a longer period of time. They're going to stress this. See, they'll get started. They may have some su success out the gate, and then they'll start going. They hit a brick wall. Oh, oh, I can't figure this thing out. How can I? I got to figure this thing out. Oh, I got to figure this out. I got to. Huh. Then all of a sudden, they'll keep stressing. They keep stressing. Then all of a sudden, they might a, a doorway and open up. And they'll find their way through it, and they'll run a little bit longer. They hit another brick wall. Oh, 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 oh. Now, a, a stressor can become successful. It just takes a longer period of time. You understand that? Now, a master. A master is somebody who's going to go straight to the master. You go straight to the master guy. See, when you want to learn martial arts, you don't go to somebody who just started martial arts last month. You go to, you go to, to what? A master. You go to a master who knows exactly what to do, who knows who's been doing this for so many years, that, that from across the room he can tell whether or not your, your stance, your posture is right. He can tell whether or not your punch is strong enough. He can give you, he can, he can from this point right here go like this, and you fall down. That's a master. The reason why that's important, guys, is this, because in this company, we have a master. And this master has laid a plan in place for you to become successful. You know how I know he's the master? Because he got involved in this company, and he was practicing. He was all doing all his, all his style and his, all his stuff, and he learned all his stuff. And after he learned it, he, go, he went on to defeat, to defeat in the field of battle, in the heat of battle, he has gone on to defeat other people in all other companies and become the number two income earner in the world. Wow. Now, the company that that master has, has shared with those guys is Organo Gold. And we know it's the right business, guys, because it's easy, it's simple, it's just coffee. 